Ruin our brand. Harry Con trying to attract $20 million deal by wearing the Dior coat at coronation, but the CEO said no. Recently at the coronation ceremony, Harry was seen wearing a Dior coat instead of a formal dress. This has caused many surprises as well as bad consequences. It is known that after the ceremony, the British people boycotted Dior. Prince Harry wore a bespoke suit designed by Dior to his father's coronation on Saturday, and royal fans have been sharing their thoughts on the look. Luxury fashion house Dior tweeted on Saturday that it had dressed the Duke in a custom design by celebrity favorite British-born Kim Jones, saying to do so was an honor. Royal fans were surprised by Harry's decision to wear Dior, not least because it's a French brand, but because the suit simply looked ordinary. Royals are typically dressed by British designers for large events, though technically this was a British designer, but not a British company. People online shared their disappointment with Harry's attire, with one person commenting, The suit looks pretty wrinkled. Another added, It looks weathered and worn, especially the trousers. Looks faded and in need of an iron. Sorry. Others, however, praised the Duke as elegant and dapper in the designer ensemble. The suit was comprised of a black wool and mohair peak lapel la tailcoat with a matching double-breasted vest and trousers, a white shirt, and a gray tie. The brand has often been a go-to choice for Harry's wife, Meghan, who wore a Dior outfit to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last summer. The Duke of Sussex has now returned to California after catching a British Airways flight just hours after his father's coronation ended. The Duke's appearance at the coronation marked his first public appearance alongside the royals since he criticized his family in his controversial tell-all memoir, Spare. He was seated in the third row for the crowning of Charles and the Duke's stepmother, the Queen, in Westminster Abbey, and was placed two rows behind his brother, the Prince of Wales. Harry is thought to have enjoyed related celebrations for his son, Prince Archie's 40th birthday, upon his return to Los Angeles which fell on the same day as the coronation ceremony. Prince Harry may soon join the likes of Robert Pattinson and Charlize Theron as an ambassador for the French luxury fashion house Dior. Last week, the prince was spotted attending a London court wearing a Dior shirt, sparking rumors that Harry may have recently signed an endorsement deal with the luxury brand. There are, of course, some occasions when smarter clothing is required, and a suit was a natural choice for Harry's court appearance, but opting for a super brand Dior was a sartorial curveball for Harry. It's highly likely that the Sussexes have an arrangement with Dior. It would be a highly convenient passive income for Harry and Meghan, who make ideal ambassadors for that brand. Although no senior royal has ever signed a commercial endorsement deal, several extended family members have used their royal connections to represent luxury brands. Currently, Harry's cousin, Lady Kitty Spencer, serves as a global brand ambassador for both Bulgari and Dolce & Gabbana. Lady Spencer was chosen by Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana personally after being dressed by the brand to attend Harry's wedding to Meghan Markle in 2018. The socialite has since appeared in advertising campaigns and walked the runway for the Italian luxury brand. The first royal to ever sign a luxury endorsement was Lady Helen Taylor, the daughter of Elizabeth II's cousin, the Duke and Duchess of Kent. Lady Taylor signed on as a branded ambassador of Giorgio Armani in 1992 and represented the company for 17 years until 2009. The primary reason that luxury brands seek out royal relatives is to capitalize on their social prestige to market expensive products to the public. Certain royal family members can also effectively set fashion trends and make items popular.